<laughs> so professional. Hey guys, welcome to a new episode with Pasta Queen and Pasta Bro. Today we're making classic Italian meatballs. Mwah! Oh my God, we're excited. Ingredients. Ah. We're making the classic meatball recipe from our family to yours. Now there's many variants of this one in Italy. We're making the ones that we like the best, which only has, and let me go over with you, 500 grams of ground beef, 100 grams of Parmigiano Reggiano, 100 grams of breadcrumbs, two eggs, two garlic cloves, a pinch of salt, a scrunch of pepper, a bunch of parsley. And of course, you're gonna need a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil to fry them afterwards. And guys, it's important that you dry, let the meat dry a little bit before cooking it. Oh, I love this tip. Thank you. Guys, get ready to get your hands dirty. It's gonna get messy. Let's start. We're putting the beef at the bottom. Wanna give me the parmesan all grated? Mm-hmm. That's why it's there for, you see? I'm gonna add the breadcrumbs. Uh, some people add wet breadcrumbs. They wet them a little bit in um, milk, especially if you're using bread that is a little stale. We are using uh, breadcrumbs from the box this time, so I'm just putting them in straight. If you wanna wet them a little bit with milk beforehand so that you can like break the little stale bread, it's gonna taste even better. That's just a little extra tip that you can use if you wish. Now we have to wait for pasta bro. Mm -hmm. I thought all the ingredients were ready. They were. Yeah. Somebody stole the parmesan. While the parmigiano cheese is uh, grating, let's add the salt. I'm gonna go a little bit generous with the salt. A pinch of, a generous pinch of salt in. A scrunch of pepper. Mm, yes. Now, pasta bro, kindly, um, kindly grated, kindly grated the cheese. So we're adding the Parmigiano cheese. This is a nice. Okay, let me just give you a tip. If you want the best, best, softest meatballs, try to use Parmigiano that is freshly grated. Don't buy the one in the bag because it's super, super dry. So this is going to add a lot of moisture to your meatballs as well. Okay. We're adding two eggs. There you go. So guys, when you wanna remove things from your chopping board with a knife, just use the back of the knife so that you don't ruin the blade. Okay, now two cloves of garlic in. We used two small garlic cloves. We're mixing them in. Uh, so uh, one of the questions uh, we got now is that why they cannot use garlic powder in this? What do you mean? Yeah, they use garlic powder. <laughs> they do. What? Is, is that all right to, to use, use garlic powder instead of garlic? So what, what, what are we going to answer to something like that? They use garlic powder? No. You have to use fresh garlic. It is completely different. So um, I won't judge you if you use garlic powder, but you can't think that that's my recipe. I can tell you straight away the garlic powder can be good on some recipes, but for fresh meatballs, it will change the taste. The garlic powder almost tastes bitter. I don't like it. Don't use it. Okay, now... We make it to the meatballs. Now we make it into one giant <laughs> meatballs. Just kidding. It smells divine. It smells really good. What we're doing is we're making little tiny bite-sized... Bite okay. <laughs> what I like to make is tiny bite-sized meatballs, not ginormous ones, and I'm gonna show you why. They're just so cute. And you can even use them as appetizers. So and also go. much easier to cook. The smaller, it cooks much faster. See? The inside, without burning the outside. There's two ways you can cook these meatballs. So I have one recipe here on YouTube that shows you me baking them. And I love that recipe because it's healthier. There's no frying. And now 
I'm going to show you the version where I fry them. Let's add a tiny, large drizzle of olive oil. Tiny, large, guys. Tiny, large. I like the drizzle, but I'm going to make it a large drizzle. <laughs> That's a leakage. Not too much, though. <laughs> so, guys, I want to show you my first meatballs. The, the, the meatball next to my finger versus this meatball next to my brother's finger. I go, come here. Get your fingers next to mine. <laughs> yeah, it's a little different. So like. this is the, the meatball, okay? This is my finger versus... They're just tiny, one inch wide meatballs. And I'm gonna put them in. Maybe one inch and a quarter. Yeah? No, but look. We put them in the, in the middle of yeah, our palms. And then like gently roll them. I haven't said just gorgeous in so long. Now guys, we're putting them on a low to medium flame and we're gonna be cooking them. Let's add a little pinch of salt just to be on the safe side because he likes it salty. Now you just shake them up. The key is motion. Motion is your friend in this case. Yeah. Just shake it up every you know minute or so. Now I want the blue one. Can you go and get the blue one in the dining room? Con la blu ah, così. Sì. Sei in uno di quei cassettini. But guys, have a look at how good these meatballs are looking already. They haven't got the brown crust yet, but I want it. Questo? No. That's the Turkish bowl. That's where we put the... She said blue, guys. Uh, what do you no. see? <laughs> That's where we put the Sicilian salads. Because of the Turkish and Sicily mixtures. Down, you know, thousands of years ago. We're not using that for meatballs. Jeez. Look how they're rolling. I'm just so satisfied about doing this. No. You just saw that, right? That's for the lemons. <laughs> Let me show you. Let me, excuse me. It's right here. Oh, that's the blue one. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't have time for you, oh, for your so mistakes. Good. The meatballs are burning. Mmm. They look very Ooh, nice. Oh, guys. Wow. Yay, 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 yay. Look. Shh. That's the final Italian touch. Yeah. You didn't see it, guys, because you're not Italian, but there was a lot of passion going in. Yeah, there was the passion being dropped in. When you open them and you buy into it, it's gonna be like little passion coming out. You just have to like inhale it in, take it all in, and don't let it out. So don't breathe out again. I'm gonna show exactly what's the perfect brown crust that delineates and denotes the end process of this magical technique called meatball making. It's ready. I want to show you. They're nice and brown, evenly coated. I've been mixing them so much that the brown is just nice and spread throughout. What we're trying to do is to use the extra virgin olive oil and fry the meatball so that they get an even crunchy layer. Have you noticed how there's this paper towels at the bottom? What I'm trying to do is just drain them a little bit of the extra virgin olive oil so that they're not uh, too oily. So I'm gonna do one at the bottom and one at the top and I'm gonna pat them dry and then pretty much they're ready. I'm just gonna leave them a minute or so and then I'm gonna put them in my tray of choice. The blue one? <laughs> the blue one that I was talking about. Oh my god guys I feel them already. They're so soft. Just gorgeous.